few days ago I did a, a video about uh, how the Jackie Constantine, this one here, compares to a full 48 button uh, version of the instrument. Um, and I now have my own 48 button version of the instrument which I'm going to show you. It's in this rather nice leather case which I'm going to undo. I think the original catch is long since gone, so now we have this leather strap. Open it up, and inside we have this. Uh, let's go and get this case out of the way. Even the case is a thing of beauty, isn't it? So what we've got here is a Lachanel uh, 48 button English concertina and uh, I was talking about those extra buttons the other day and uh, if we just put them up the same way so there they are side by side so straight away you can see the physical size of the two instruments the Jackie is quite a bit bigger than the Lachanel I'll give you the actual measurements uh, the Lachanel is uh, four and a half inches long closed up and the Jackie closed up it's not quite closed up at the moment is um, seven and a half so it's quite a bit longer um, the diameter if that's the correct term across here if you like um, well the Jackie is uh, seven and a quarter across here and the Lachanel is six and a quarter so not so much of a difference there now I thought that the weight of these two instruments was going to be uh, massively different. In actual fact, the Jackie is uh, a little bit heavier at three and three eighths pounds, so almost three and a half pounds. And this Lachanel is just a fraction under three pounds at two and seven eighths pounds. And it's a really nice weight, lovely to hold. Um, I'd always imagine that these vintage concertinas with their wooden ends would be really heavy, but this one isn't. Um, if I just open it out, let's just play a note to open it out. Got those rather lovely bellows, which have probably seen better days. There's a few stains and things, but you know, you're going to get this with something that's well over 100 years old. And um, I did try one with metal ends. Uh, which was over a thousand pounds more than this and I actually didn't like it I found it very shrill and piercing this one's got a lovely soft tone uh, which I'll demonstrate in a moment uh, if you look at the buttons here quite interesting they're made of bone I think um, and the middle two rows as we've discussed before uh, those are the uh, the notes the white notes on the piano and then the top and bottom rows although the colors faded a bit those are the, the kind of black notes on the piano. So it's, you know, it's pretty logical. It's got five fold bellows. Um, one thing that I talked about in my previous video was the air button. Well, apparently uh, m most, if not all of these vintage concertinas, the English ones anyway, don't have an air button. Um, I read somewhere that you're supposed to plan your playing so that you end up before you I put the thing away with the bellows closed. So you plan your piece of music so that the bellows end up being closed. I'm not sure that I could always do that, but it doesn't have an air button. Just playing it uh, uh, closes, opens and closes the, the, the bellows. That's quite an interesting thing, isn't it? Um, it's been refurbished. If you look in there, you can probably see the new white pads. And the guy opened it up yesterday and it's just amazing inside. It's so clean and beautiful inside, all the original labels. And these things, I mean, they're crazy money, really. Um, but uh, they are quite beautiful inside. And uh, I'm fascinated to know who's played this over the years. Of course, I'll never know. That's part of the fun, I guess. Um, I'm now going to play the same piece of music. It's going to be the, the subject of my next... Uh, tutorial if you like. I'm going to play the same piece of music on the, these two concertinas and you'll hear the difference. Um, I still love the sound of the Jackie. You think, I, I, you know, I did wonder if I, if I got a more expensive um, concertina whether I'd 
ever play the jackie again, but I still like it. One thing you'll note, notice straight away is that the Lashenau, the vintage model, is a lot quieter. It's very easy to play. I mean, the, the bellows open much easier than the jackie because it's that much older. Uh, but it's very, very easy to play. Anyway, um, I'm going to finish this up just by playing the same piece on both instruments so you can hear the difference in the sound. Obviously this has got all the extra notes and it's got the top octave as well, which I'm not sure I'll ever play. The main reason for buying this was uh, I just wanted something with a different tone and maybe those extra top notes I might use one day. It's just one of those things, you know, it's like if you're a musician, you walk into a, a shop and something talks to you and you end up walking out with it. It's happened to me a few times in my life, uh, but I'm really pleased with it. So let's have a listen to this tune. Uh, the tune is In the Blink with Winter, which is not particularly appropriate today because it's the uh, 5th of September, beautiful sunny day, uh, but it is a nice piece of music. And as I say, I'll play it first of all on the jackie. Okay, uh, this is the 30 button, and then I'll play it on the Lashnell. And apologies if I'm saying that name wrong, I think it's, I think it's correct, but if it isn't, I'm sure somebody will tell me. <laughs> So that's the tune on the Jackie. Let's play the same tune on the Lachenal. <clears throat> You'll notice I'll change the bellows uh, direction far more often than this because uh, it runs out of puff a lot quicker than the Jackie does. Uh, because obviously the bellows have smaller capacity and because it's older, I'm guessing. So it's still taking a lot of getting used to at this early stage. Um, most important thing I'm noticing, as I say, is this uh, running out of puff thing, because uh, the bellows are smaller and uh, looser. It's much easier to play than the jackie in some respects, um, but I'm finding it hard to adjust to that. And I, I like the sound of both of them, so they'll both be, be used a lot, but this definitely gives me a different, softer tone as the one that I'm used to, and it's just, apart from anything else, it's just a nice thing to own, isn't it? Anyway, now you've seen and heard the difference, and you can see the physical difference between the two uh, instruments. I hope you found that interesting. <laughs>